Yo, welcome back. A uh, little update. <clears throat> We've been cracking on. What you can see there is some new brake lines uh, on the bulkhead. We've now refitted the clutch master cylinder and we've had some new hardware on there. The studs weren't quite long enough because of the 20mm spacer that's fitted. I could only get like and probably a thread and a half if that onto the nut at the back. Um, so I've now made that a two man job by getting cap heads um, that fill the hole perfectly. So that's all good. Got some new hardware on the brake servo as well. Um, so I made up the first line. These are the do it yourself jobbies. So um, you have some male to male connectors, which are basically like standard brake fitting to AN 3 fitting. And then you've got all these straights which will thread onto there and stuff. And then in here, you have a little olive. Uh, like so, got that little olive piece there. So that goes, this goes inside the inner hose. That goes between the inner hose and the outer braid. The nut goes on behind it and then you just bring the nut up and it crushes it all together. So that's how you get your connection. Um, a little bit cheaper than having custom, um, custom lines made where you have to have them all crimped on and stuff. So it's a slightly cheaper alternative, but I'm not sure if I like how bulky it is because like that was quite a little little item that prop valve before but now it's quite a large thing because of all of the male to male connectors and all the bits and pieces on it um, but it will tidy things up with the lines at least so once I've made all the right length lines I shall then work out where I'm gonna clamp them to to stop them from moving around because a lot of people complain about spongy feel with um, with the braided lines now the science shows they actually don't swell but i think what happens is sometimes is they they start to actually move when they start it's like tensing up once you put fluid pressure through them they sort of tense up so if there's any parts where they can try and straighten out they will so you need to try and just make sure that they're 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 held down you know firmly so they're not going to do that so we'll find out a plan for that a bit later on but right now we're going to start the painstaking task of getting all the hoses made up Make sure the olive's on, nice and good. And then in theory, we should just put that down inside there. If it fits. And then we pull the nut back up to the fitting. the nut should be ready to prefer to do it and then that's basically it you just then have to tighten that up until you get like a fingernail width and then you're good one done one and done well I've got a couple done so the master cylinder is all done finished and we just ran the first line out of the bay to the front passenger side or front left side off side uh, caliper I've just got to do the other end of that around there um, just managed to get some P clips and hold it up there not quite sure what I'm going to do with this corner here yet I'm probably going to get another P clip I've got a bracket that goes here uh, like a grommet plate for the shifter cables so what I'll probably do is get a longer bolt and P clip that to the corner bolt there as well and then um, I've used an old RC racing trick here. I've just put a little cable tie on that with the, the little clicky bit, the block at the back side, so that actually the metal cannot, can't really see very well, but so that the, the metal of the braided hose can't actually contact any other metal. So once that's supported up there, I think that should be good. So I've just clipped these ones together for now. I'm not sure how I'm gonna hold them tight to the car because they will, and straighten out like that so I'll have a look at that once we've got the rest of them done okay here we go Ah, oh, the gorilla mount 
He's hooked right in, man, mate. He's hooked right in. Now you can see we've got the hose and the connector coming through. Just about the right length to connect onto the other section of braided hose, which now has a male-to-male -male connector on it. And then those two should connect together. And that one goes down to the caliper. One front brake completely done. Might need to put some uh, some heat shrink over it or something because it's bare braid, so there's no silicon over it like the clutch line. The clutch line has got uh, silicon on it, so that won't scratch your paint. So that's something to bear in mind if you're going to do this. Decide whether or not you want to get the silicon braided type. If so, you may need to specify that because I think that's standard, especially for motorsport applications. It comes with just a bare stainless braid, so bear that one in mind. Well, that's it. There ain't no turning back now. Uh, that's the ends of the rear brake lines that were in the engine bay. And that's the old EVAP line, or some of it at least. The rest of the brake hose pipe is here. There's one of them. And there's the other one. You can see they're just sitting in some primer right now. Uh, there was a little bit of very mild surface corrosion, so I've done the usual, sanded it right back down and got the Genolite rust remover to eat it away, let it all do its job. And uh, we've got some primer on it now, so we get some satin black on that just to protect it. After my dinner, and then we're good to go. Get them back on the car and sweet. Alrighty, so a little voiceover. <clears throat> um, I had to get some special uh, adapters for the hard lines to get a male male uh, AN fitting fitted on there and then we went on with the flexi hose or the uh, braided hose into the bay after that quite a bit of p-clip usage on the bulkhead to try and tidy everything up and try and stop the lines from moving around it's when they can move and straighten out that it causes more issues with spongy feel so I'm very happy with the way it turned out it looks mint I've got a clutch line to do pretty soon so there you are that's it for this video thank you very much for watching uh, like subscribe hit the bell so that you get the notifications and all that stuff see if teammates see if we can get a few more subscribers to come and join us on the little journey